gives us a lot of momentum. It's going to give us a great offseason. But the one thing you never have to worry about with this team is their work ethic. And you know, when you got Pat Moore in charge of their offseason conditioning and things like that and strength, it's, we're always going to be in great shape. But where we can't be more excited to go to the ACC, but I also want to say we're so thankful that the AAC you know, gave us an opportunity to have a, a home for a year. Can you talk about how nice it's not going to be to have to worry about scheduling the, the big time opponents next year? We won't have to worry about that, that's for sure. <laughs> That'll be nice. It seems like that was a night like this. Uh, you think it kind of gets some awesome catharsis. Disappointing that's such a lost bit. Just going on a high like this for a team. Kind of appreciate that they well, I, I think this was a 12 win season and playing in this bowl game. I thought this bowl game was every bit as good as any BCS bowl we played in. The, the, the Russell Athletic folks did an unbelievable job in the Florida Citrus Sports Group. Just, uh, it's an unbelievable trip. And this, the great thing about this bowl game is to see all of our fan support that came out. And, you know, we had anywhere 15 to 20,000 the Bulls estimating, so that was another fantastic trip. You're a football guy. What do you sit back just as a fantasy teddy? Well, he's a remarkable young man, and you know, what a great career. And you know, he, he always played best on the big stages. And you know, whether it was last year's Florida game or this year's Miami game, uh, he's really he really made his mark in the city of Louisville. Talk about this staff is taking a lot of heat this year for different things. And how satisfying do you think for them to come through like this? And 12 and one is special. I, I, it's very special for me because I know how difficult it is. You know, I know every team that we played, they wanted to win as bad as we did, you know, so so th it's a tough game. And I, I just, uh, I'm so pleased to see these coaches, how they persevered through so much adversity and, you know, whether it was injuries or negativity or anything like that, they always came through and, and, and the cream rose to the top. And certainly, you know, I, I couldn't have been prouder. I mean, you hold Miami and that, that's a prolific offense they had. They had 174 yards and then, you know, we put 550 or 560, whatever we had on them. When you have coordinators that come up with those two game plans tonight, they're probably going to be wanted. I know you're one that you, know, you want to keep this. We will always do everything in my, in my power to take, to take care of all of our coaches because I want all of them to stay here. I love the continuity and I love the stability this program has. Thanks, Thanks guys.